Shalom. Well, real quick, man. First and foremost, I want to thank or give or say the water to Yahweh by Shimi Shai for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh, who the world you know what he calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world you know what he calls Jesus Christ. And he's no God beside them. Double honest to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to the elect. Luke 19 and 19. And he said likewise to him, Be thou also over five cities. Let me read up verse 17. 16. Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pound have gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in very little, have thou authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound have gained five pounds. And he said likewise to him, Be thou also over five cities. And another came, saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. For I fear thee, because thou art an austere man. For thou takest up that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. And he saith unto him, Out of thy own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gavest thou thy money into the bank, that thy coming I might have required my own with usury. And um, the reason for me bringing this out is simply to tell brothers, first and foremost, of course, with myself, that feeling bad is not enough. You actually have to do something, right? We all fall short. We all do things that you hope the Lord have mercy upon you for. Nevertheless, you have to make it right with him. And that starts on um, predominantly what that means is to do this work. Um, We all know the scripture. I'll bring it out anyway for you new brothers. James 2 and 20. But with thou, O vain man. Let me start at verse uh, 17. Even so faith, if it had not works, is dead being alone. Yea, men may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Shew me thy faith without thy works, and I will shew thee my faith by my works. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well, the devils also believe and tremble. But what thou, O vain man, what thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead. All right. So in our and the aspect of us, you know, doing the work shows your faith, shows that you repent, you know, and um, praying, right? Physically changing your ways. Um, they say the best apology is a change action. So that ought to be um, something implemented or we should think upon. You know, when you are tied down. It's lucky. When you are tied down, you know, with your own iniquities, get up, do the work. I did a lesson a few days back going into the 10-minute rule. Get you a 10-minute lesson and build momentum to do more. Right? And at least 
because we all, you know, we have, we have to have something to show for the time we lived here. Did not the Lord say what? Let me grab that actually. He said it's various time, but one that comes to mind is Ecclesiastes 12 and 14. For God shall bring every work into judgment. All right. So you have an idea, but the work is what brings that idea to mind. With every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Last precept. Second Ezra 16, 76. 75. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. Let me start at verse 74. Hear, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for God is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord God. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Woe be unto him that are bound with their sins. Right? So if you bound with your sins, you're essentially, well, it's going to get into it, and covered with their iniquities, like as they feel it's covered over with bushes. And the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. Right? So now, when your thought or your iniquity, you know, your, um, right, your iniquity is so great, especially in your head. <clears throat> well, how can I put it? I want to put it in the best way. When your iniquity is so great or your that is plaguing your mind and now you're becoming unfruitful. All right. And essentially you're just putting the Lord's work in a napkin. That's wrong. Right. Sometimes. You know, we all go through it. We have a, a thing with overthinking. To where. That brilliant idea you had was uh, stomped out by the lack, by pretty much doubt. Right? So we all we ought to have a mindset to keep pushing, man. You got breath in your in your in your veins? It's like you got breath in your lungs. Alright? Keep pushing. And the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. No man, not even the Lord. Right? Thoughts are not flowing. You just all messed up. It is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. And none of us want that. You know? And ultimately, that nuclear missile fire, right? As the scriptures say, want to him that has lost faith because for he will not be defended. Right? But um, the Lord allowed him, the Lord Yahushua, our defense attorney, he will allow them demons to ho hold you down. So with that, and essentially, you know, that's the two third, you know, you go to Isaiah 6 and 9 through, was it 9 through 11? And what their end shall be. And you don't want to fall into that category. So keep pushing. Shalom to the elect.